Welcome back to Flow Slab. Today I was doing the final wiring on a Proco rat pedal. And first off, I have to do a quick thank you very much to a YouTuber whose handle is Have You Seen Him 89. Thank you so much for the rat PCB. You now I use a, like strip board or ferro board for my circuit boards when I make this stuff. And Have You Seen Him 89 actually etches his own custom printed circuit boards, which he just kind of out of the blue, I don't know if this guy's like psychic or what, but I always wanted a rat. And I never like found one cheap or pulled one out of a dumpster. So I just get this envelope and it's got a rat PCB. And this, the job he did, I mean, it looks, it's like a professional PCB. Anyway, uh, back to my little handy tip for today. In the past, I've had what I would call bad luck soldering wires onto switches. You see here, we have these little wiring tabs with holes in them on the switches. Same thing on the stomp switch. And you know, I'll be, I'll, I'll have the wire in there and I'm soldering in and soldering in and it's not sticking to this metal tab that's on the switch. And then like, the solder will fall and don't be like Petey. Wear long pants when you're doing this. Don't wear shorts. Anyway, I'm like, solder's falling on my leg, and, I'm, and then the tab will fall on my leg. Like, I've actually, on a few of these, I've had the tab come leaping out of there. And it's just from me heating it up too much. So, <clears throat> what I've, my little, my system, my handy tip that I got for you guys is, this is a set of mini files. I've got one, I don't know, I got this thing at like, it's a pawn shop outlet store. Anyway, uh, of course, I used it as like a pry bar or something or trying to break into a safe or something. And I, it's broken off, so it looks a little goofy. But it's just a standard mini file. And what I do is you just want to rough up the tabs, the solder tabs, you know. This one has three rows, so I do it like on six different axes. Axes? How do you say that? Axes? So, yeah, you top and bottom. And, you know, you don't want to... I'm not making a prison shank here, although that's not a bad idea for a hacking with Pete, too. Um, you don't want to, like, file them to a point. You're just roughing them up a little bit. Um, you know, if you look at an old guitar when they used to really, like, take time to make them, on the back of the pot, there'll be the, the star ground where the, all the wires come in. You can see there, someone roughed that up with some sandpaper or something. It's the same idea. You're just scuffing the surface. And, you know, I should mention that it's not like plated brass or anything. This metal that they make the tabs out of, it's what you see is what you get. So you're not, like, removing any protective coating. And it's going to get covered with solder anyway. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. And if you know me, you know how much I love flux and bragging about my use of flux. This is a Carmex container. So if you like come over here and you're hanging out in Fuzz Lab and I'm like, I gotta go drain the wagon and I leave, don't use my Carmex because it's not Carmex, it's flux. I got my little, my high tech, it's like a WD-40 straw with a little, it's a, like a stainless steel needle with a spring in the middle and then another, just like this thing is, man, the flux is really being applied with a lot of like titanium based technology. So, get your flux on. What I like to do is I physically, I'll try to bend the wire a little bit to, so it has a physical connection like an anchor. Just like to do it that way. And, you know, a, a lot of times, actually every time I get to the step, I forget to file it. And then it's like, immediately when I go to with the solder, I remember no, you dummy, what are you trying to do, you know? Get your little filey file and file file. So, that's my handy tip for today. I should mention that, like, when I'm doing these, because I got one on one of my projects here, and I didn't, like, melt it to the point where stuff was flying out of it, but I melted it enough heat transfer to the inside that now when you go and switch it, there's a little snap crackle pop there's a little crisp crinkle in there you know and i mean it works work for like a year but that one time like when the king of sweden comes and i'm like check out my amp 
you know the thing's just gonna burst into flames because of that switch. But uh, what I do another like, and this is you're probably gonna think I'm like completely freaking lost my mind when I tell you this. But what I do is like, okay, let's say I'm gonna be soldering on, on this side first, okay? So that would be the right side. I'm gonna do these. I'll I'll set the switch over on the right, and in my mind, I'm picturing that. Whatever's inside of here, when I set it to the right, that's going to move over to the to the left, to the other side, away from where I'm soldering, and that it wouldn't be in direct contact with the heat. So it's just like, probably, like I said, I'm goofy, but I have, I've wrecked enough of these, and it's just frustrating, you know. So that's my quick handy tip. Uh, turned out to be a six-minute video. <laughs> I didn't tell too many stories. Uh, if you like this stuff... I'd love to have you subscribe. Thank you very much for your views and your likes. And a special thanks to Have You Seen Him 89. That was awesome, man. Thank you. Uh, and to the rest of you, keep on hacking.